Welcome to Retro Upgrade. This time we'll be showing the design process for the PS1 CD-ROM hub I made in an earlier episode. Check out the link in the description. Let's start with the most important part measurements. We need to measure the parts most important features. In this case it's the spindle shaft hole the cd latch side that's where the cd goes also the height of everything so the laser is not farther or closer than it should be i recommend digital calipers you could get away with a ruler but it's a lot harder to do right digital calipers are super cheap nowadays so don't waste your money on traditional mechanical type the cheap ones are accurate enough for stuff like this the important measurements for us are the the base that's 30 millimeters the height of the base that's two millimeters high the center retaining hub that's 15 millimeters 3.3 millimeters high for the hub and the shaft hole that's two millimeters diameter the application we'll be using is fusion 360 but this can be done in a lot of free software like freecad or sketchup and a few other but fusion 360 is free for non-commercial use so we'll be using that First thing you do after you start the application, you pick a plane to draw on after you push the sketch button on the top left. Create sketch and choose the plane here. Doesn't matter which one you choose, it's the same. Next we'll be making the base of the object we are trying to replicate. We choose the circle, click on the middle of the plane. It has a little marker for the middle and make this 30 millimeters wide there we go use the scroll to zoom in just in case just to check the number and then finish the sketch push the extrude button click on the surface you want to extrude in this case the only surface that's available and type in the two millimeters of height it has so it will to give it some thickness now let's continue with the drawing we'll be making the hub in the middle so we have to choose the surface we want to keep drawing from so we choose the top side and choose the create sketch again uh, this is a repeating occurrence we have to make a lot of sketches choose the circle again and the hub was 50 millimeters so let's type in 50 and push enter and finish sketch again and then extrude this so you extrude it to 3.3 millimeters that's the height normal cds have a 50 millimeter hole in the middle as you can see it's all about adding and subtracting things with the sketches now for the shaft hole just select the top surface and press a new sketch button again select the circle and make a small circle two millimeters is the size of the shaft now finish the sketch again and select the surface when you're too far away it doesn't work so you have to zoom in with the scroll there we go you have it selected now press extrude and this time we'll be going negative instead you could use the arrow and just pull it down or you could type in a negative number like minus 10 that's way farther than the part is you go right through it you can use the ALT middle mouse button to move and shift the middle mouse button to rotate so you can check it on the back side as well so it's done let's make a chamfer so the CD goes on easier or a fillet in this case a chamfer is a 40 degree cut and the fillet is a rounded edge so let's go with the rounded edge one millimeter should do it this will make it easier to fit on the CD so it aligns with the center of the hole. Now onto cutting the holes for the screws. We'll pick the top surface because we're going through everything so it's easier to make it from there. Create a new sketch. Make a line 8.5 millimeters from the center to one of the sides. I'll choose the right side here eight and a half and then pick the circle again and make a four millimeter hole that's what's on the original part and it has three holes actually you just need one but if 
it's on the original part you might as well do it as well and now to replicate this three more times you could try positioning them spaced apart but there is a tool for that it's under create and it's called circular pattern you pick the pattern first that's the circle and then you pick the center points it's going to spin around from in this case the center point and you have three and they are perfectly spaced apart you could put in more or less circles if you want if you want four you can push four here and they're spaced out the three is a good number push ok now we have three circles so finish the sketch and start selecting all the circles or you could press the extrude button first and then click on all the circles so they are selected and then put a negative number again or pull on the arrow so right through you can see it's all the way through and you have the screw holes now we need to make the retaining clips you could use it as is and use a friction fit but this usually wears out over time and will not hold down the cd while spinning so it's better to make a good retaining clip of some sort this is the hardest part because you can't really copy the original because it uses a rubber band and three ball bearings and you can't really print that so you have to be a little inventive and find a way around it i made some snaps that move just enough to let the cd pass and spring back again and hold it in place so let's see first let's make a space for them select the top surface create sketch you'll see a reoccurring pattern here you'll you, you make a sketch and extrude make a sketch and extrude and continue that way okay so we'll do the same as we did before align just pull it out until you hit the corner here try to do a 90 degree one from the first hole you made there we go and then you do a circle that's four millimeters just to keep it symmetrical and we'll make a circular pattern again we will need three snaps to hold it securely in place you could get away with two but because it will keep everything symmetrical it's better this way create circular pattern choose the pattern select center as you can see they are all in the center and all three are symmetrically apart push ok finish the sketch now press the extrude button again and select all the faces that you want to remove in this case you have to choose them individually because it split them up with the line there we go all selected you don't want to go through the entire part you could try to manually adjust it so it reaches but you can go over and make the hole too deep that's not what you want so instead so you use the extent type change it to to object so you can click on an object and it goes only to that height there you go and make sure it says cut and not add or join or anything else there we go you have the cutouts for the springs or the retaining snaps let's make one snap and copy it the two more times around so let's just choose one side click on the base of the hog create a new sketch we'll be making a small retaining clip we'll try to make it flush with the hub so we'll do the same thing we have done before we'll make a line put it somewhere it snaps to the second line and then we just press escape to exit the line drawing and make a square or a rectangle you have rectangles from different positions you, you just need a two point three point or a center rectangle you should use the center rectangle because you can just click on the point you made and you'll make the rectangle from there now for the size usually if you want something flexible you need to keep it at a maximum of two widths of your 3d printers nozzle the nozzle is 0.4 so the width should be 0.8 at the maximum if you want you could do it even smaller than that and the width doesn't matter really so two millimeters is fine let's type in two this is so it stays flexible so you can push the cd over it and it moves and snaps back 
So let's see. It looks good. It's not protruding, protruding at all. So let's finish the sketch. Extrude. Let's do the two object again. There go. Same height as the hub. But it's not protruding at all. And now to make the snapping part. So a uh, normal CD is about 1.2 millimeters thick. So we need to keep the hub even at that height. And then every uh, the snaps above that should have a protrusion that keeps it down. That move away when you try to pull it out. So let's make that part. Now click on the front face of the snap. Press the create sketch again. It went sideways. You could spin it around like this to make it easier to visualize. Pick the line tool. Choose the bottom left corner. Wait until it snaps like this and you have a square. Click on it. Drag up and then push 1.2 millimeter. That's the normal height of a CD and you want to keep it flat. Okay, so you have the end point here. So the CD will be on this area. So we need a retaining clip from there and onwards. Click on the rectangle tool, click on the point you just made and then go to the opposite side and wait for it to snap. There you go. You now have a face that's going to extrude from the side. Just pick the face you just made and extrude you want to protrude outside of the hub just a little and uh, not much so like this see it's kind of chunky and the bottom part will move but it's too chunky to actually pass a cd over so we need to round the edges so 0.9 is fine or maybe even less 0.8 yeah, 0.8 is a little better. Push enter. Now you have the little snap. Let's round off the corners, the bottom corner, because I don't want to use supports on my 3D printer. It has to be 45 degrees maximum. And this is a 90 degree overhang. Select the face you just created. Now you need to pick the edges actually. This edge, choose chamfer. And just pull it in until it is flush with the part. So that should be 0.8 and that should make a ledge that's 45 degrees so the 3d printer doesn't need any support and on the top just to make it easier we could round it out with a fillet just a little there we go that looks like a snap and it looks like it fits in now push okay and now to replicate this around three times we don't want to do the same job over and over again so just pick the circle tool again pattern tool there we go circle pattern you pick the objects not faces features entire feature there we go it's picked everything there should actually copy everything if you want to multi-select a uh, your control click but you don't need that now to select the axis you need to select uh, a point where to rotate it from you have the middle point here as you can see it made three copies we could make more if you had more places to put them and now the hub is done i would fill it the last part as well this hub just to make it a little nicer just a little bit there we go and this should print fine the only step left you have is to export this so fusion removed sdl files a little while ago so we have to export 3mf files i guess the way you do this is with tools have this for 3d printing select the part send to a 3d print utility click this off so you can choose where to save it you have stl format i'm guessing they're removing it next patch for 3mf you should start using 3mf but stl works for now so click for stl okay and save it somewhere as you can see i have a big collection of stuff i've made over the years so this is the ps1 hub 
version 3. Hope this helps someone that wants to design something from scratch. Uh, the only thing you have to keep in mind is if your 3D printer is not super accurate, you may have a drift of maybe 0.1 millimeters in your 3D printer and that will make it either fit too loose or too tight. You could use the function horizontal expansion in Cura. That works for me mostly and it keeps everything nice and tidy in my files. But if you see it's too tight, the first time you print it you just have to add a little buffer so you pick the sides you want to push in let's say the cd doesn't fit then it's too tight so you pick all the sides with control click and then you go back to solids and just use the press pull tool and pull it back 0 0.1 millimeters minus 0 0.1 that should do it. It shrank everything with a really, really small amount. And this shouldn't affect the part stability or anything. The print will be a lot easier to fit this way. But if you can, use the horizontal expansion feature in your 3D slicing software instead. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget about the giveaway I'm having with the N64, one controller and two games. You just have to be subscribed and uh, comment somewhere and you have a chance of winning it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like. Have a nice day. Bye.